hi youtubers something important something kind of damn important so uh, essentially we're talking right now uh, basically a ramble so uh, i haven't done a ramble in quite some time so uh, i thought i'd do a nice big ass ramble like the big ass cigar so uh, just being silly ass like the big ass cigar so uh, i want to talk about right now uh, a comment i get once in a while still i don't get this comment nearly as often as i used to this is not a rant about trolls it's not a rant about how much i hate trolls it's actually a comment i get once in a great while which basically is you don't look your age so people might say hey smoking assy you say you're 31 you know you're 31 whatever but you actually look more like 18 21 23 25 27 and i've had a lot of people say i don't look my age now for the last damn time i am 31 years old i am 31 years old for the last damn time i just turned 31 a couple weeks ago and uh yeah so i'm definitely 31 years old i am aware i look a, a little bit young for my age i want to talk about right now essentially why it wouldn't make sense in particular in retrospect to purchasing alcohol or tobacco. So when you purchase any age-restricted product, any product that is age-restricted, not just because of the bullshit, you know, but also because of good laws in there in place to protect the children, you know, protect minors, essentially, obviously, a store clerk has to ask for your ID, or they're supposed to check your ID, why it wouldn't make sense uh, that I'm going to give you a few examples, a few uh, common examples of my own experience and why this wouldn't make sense if I look like 18 or 21 or 23. And this is why I personally think myself, I look between 25 to 30, maybe not 30, you know, maybe not 30 to 35, but I'd say between 25 and 30. Now for the last damn time, I am 31 years old. So I may look a little bit younger than that, but I wanted to explain why I want to give you a few examples why it wouldn't make sense if I looked, you know, a lot younger, like a hell of a lot younger, like for like example, like 17, 19, 21. Uh, so the first example is I was at a restaurant, not gonna say the name of the restaurant, and basically I just go up to the bar and I sit down at the bar and I just order a drink, you know. I actually have lunch there and I order a drink, you know. I order a hard apple cider. This was back in September of 2021. So back then I would have been 30 years old and the bartender doesn't card me, doesn't card me. Doesn't ask for ID, doesn't ask how old I am, doesn't ask who I'm with, just, he sells me, you know, serves me a hard apple cider, has alcohol, has 5% alcohol, doesn't even uh, card me, doesn't ask how old I am. And yes, I was 30 years old. So obviously what he did was perfectly legal. But that's an example of how if I look like 18 years old, I don't think he would have done that. I really don't think he would have done that because if I look like 18 or 19, even 22, I don't think he would have done that. It's like, you know, I think he would be a hell of a lot more careful. It's like, you know, because if somebody looks like 18 or 19, I don't think he's just gonna randomly serve him a drink without asking for valid ID. It's like, you know, now this was not like a rundown, like, you know, a hole in the wall, you know, shack place, some random, you know, trashy bar. This was a really nice restaurant, like a really nice, not gonna say the name of the restaurant, but this was a really nice fucking restaurant. It's like, this was a really nice fancy restaurant that's been there for a long time. And yeah, I mean, doesn't ask for ID, doesn't ask how old I am, doesn't ask for my date of birth. And yeah, he just, you know, he serves me a drink. It's like, you know, and yes, for the last damn time, I was 30 years old. Another example is I walk into a gas station and this is back when I was 30 also. And I, you know, I asked for a, uh, a black and mild uh, cigarello and they say, oh, we have a uh, Dutch masters. I say, oh yeah, that's fine. You can have a Dutch masters. It doesn't card me. Doesn't ask any kind of date of birth. Doesn't ask how old I am. Doesn't ask anything like that. And he sells me a Dutch Masters. Obviously, for the last damn time, I was over 21. I was 30 years old. So what he did was perfectly legal. If I looked like 21 or 19, I think he would have asked for my ID. Now, FYI, for your information, you are supposed to card anybody who looks under 30, at least here where I live. 
that's not alcohol, by the way. That's uh, seltzer water. So uh, that's uh, seltzer water, by the way. So uh, yeah, those are some examples of how, and I also go into another gas station on two different occasions with two different store clerks, and I ask for a black and mild cigarello, and both times they don't card me. They don't card me. They don't ask for any kind of identification, and they cart, and they, and they sell to me, and I was 30 years old back then. I think even back then I was wearing a mask, which is a little bit borderline. It's like, you know, if you're wearing a mask because of COVID, it's like you probably should ask for ID just in case, but I'm not really the one to, jar, to, prep, to pass judgment. It's like, you know, so yeah, I mean, and these are not just like random, like hole in the wall gas stations, like some trashy gas station with, you know, beat up whatever, you know, it's like, you know, just some crappy gas station. These are, you know, major stores because a lot of times the, the, like the little, Little, little gas stations like you know the little beat up gas stations they won't be as strict about checking id but like the major ones like mobile or like uh, shell or for example like you know 7-eleven they'll be much stricter of checking id and even like you know when when people have asked for like how old i am people have said like you know and how old are you or you know you're 21 right i say oh yeah i'm 21 they don't say can i see your id they say okay i believe you They're like i believe you it's like you know uh, i believe you're at least you're at least 21 it's like you know uh, so the whole point is after six minutes of rambling is if i look like 18 or 19 or 17 or 21 or 22 or 23 i think people would be a lot more careful with asking for my id i think people wouldn't just like randomly you know uh, you know sell me uh, especially like beer or like cider or like you know wine it's like you know I think people would be a lot more careful it's like you know what I go into a rest, a different restaurant, a really nice restaurant. I sit down. They're like, "Oh yeah, we know you here. You know, you come here regularly." It's like you know, and the server says, "You know, she uh, she likes seeing you." It's like you know, the waitress enjoys seeing you. And I offer to show him my ID for, for the cider. He's like, "Oh no, no, you don't have to show me." It's like you know, and believe me, this is not like a hole in the wall restaurant. This is a really, really nice, you know, luxury restaurant. You know, a very nice fine dining restaurant. If I look like 19 years old. I really don't think they would just randomly sell it to me. I think they would ask for my ID. They would say like, okay, I need to see your ID ASAP. It's like, you know, now ha having said that, there are a few places here and there. There are a few places here and there that still check for my ID. Obviously Wegmans, they have a store policy that says everyone shows ID, period. No matter what, no matter if you're 105 years old, you still show ID. Um, and same thing with the Ocean State near me, the Ocean State job lot near me, everyone shows ID there. And even at you know different places, like I was with my counselor and I later found out I couldn't drink on, on company time. You're not allowed to drink on company time. But with my counselor, a nice big ass counselor, like the big ass cigar, it's like, you know, um, you know, he says, oh, you're not allowed to drink on company time. I say, oh, I'm sorry, I didn't, re I didn't realize that. You know, he's like, oh, don't worry about it. You know, don't worry about it. It's like, you know, but even back then, before he told me the rule, it's like, you know, the, the server actually asked for my ID. She actually, the waitress actually asked for my ID. And then I found out I couldn't drink on company time. So the whole point I make is, it's getting less and less frequent, you know, people asking for my ID. It's like, you know, occasionally people will still ask for my ID, but not very frequently. So the whole point I'm trying to make is if I look like 17 or 18 or 19 or 16 years old, I think people would ask for my ID more frequently. If I go into a bar, excuse me, and I look like 17 or 18 or 19 years old, I like how old people say I look. Like people say, oh, you look like 19, you look like 18, you look like 21. I think people would be a lot more careful, a fucking lot more careful with checking my ID. It's like, you know, I think we'd be a shitload more careful. It's like, you know, so I don't think I look like that old. Now I realize some people think, you know, certain people look certain ages. It's like, you know, but yeah, it's like, you know, I think people would be a lot more careful checking my ID uh, if I just randomly go into a bar, especially at a really nice restaurant, uh, not like a beat up, you know, hole in the wall restaurant uh, that's just trying to make a, a bang for the buck. It's like, you know, uh, a really nice luxury, fine dining restaurant. Uh, I think they'd be a shitload more careful. It's like, you know, uh, or at least I would hope they'd be a shitload more careful because, uh, yeah, I mean, I would hope they'd be more careful uh, because, uh, yeah. So uh, anyway, uh, big ass girl, pretty fucking cool. Bye.